<laughs> you shouldn't say that. <laughs> Why not? Mira, I'll meet you inside. What are you doing here? I have to get in there, Sarah. I know I'm not supposed to attend, but then you know Lady Marjorie doesn't want to see you. What could be so important? Lord Whitehill is up to something. He's conspiring against my family. And someone in there is helping him. Lady Marjorie would be furious, Mira. I can't. I'm sorry. I want to help you. But I can't risk it. I'll take the blame. You can tell Marjorie I snuck in and you tried to stop me. She's already thinking about replacing you. Are you sure you want to risk it? I have to. <sighs> All right. You owe me for this. She's with me. We'll stay out of trouble. I promise. It's a bit strange to celebrate, doesn't it? Not so long ago, King Joffrey sat on the Iron Throne. Tommen is our king now. Long may he reign. Sarah! I was worried you'd run off with your friend there. And what if I did? I'm not sure I could blame you. This is Lady Mira Forrester. Mira, Lord Garibald Tarwick. She's quite lovely. Where have you been hiding her? You're making her blush. Sorry, Mira. He gets a bit okay, carried away. Flirt. You're quite handsome yourself. I can see why Sarah likes you. Hopefully that's not the only reason. It's quite a feast, isn't it? Just be careful around the wine. I hear you're partial to a particular arbor red. It's easy to forget. Nothing you do in King's Landing goes unnoticed. Drink too much once and you're forever the drunken fool. Talk to the wrong people oh, and... Oh, Lord Tarwick! Aw, blinked. What was that about? Nothing. That subject isn't fit for your delicate she ears anyway. Oh, really? <gasps> My That's ears enough. are not we delicate. Of course they are. Look how tiny they are. <laughs> Let alone. Stop it. <laughs> what? I mean it. Someone caught your eye, Mira? I'm sorry, I... I um, I'm rather thirsty. Oh, allow me. No, I can get it myself. Thank you. If you'll excuse me. This reminds me of the tourney at Lannisport. You wouldn't believe it. You told me this story. But you would have loved it. We danced all evening, drank wine from our helmets. That is it! Andros, you're being ridiculous! They seem... Those two people seem to hate each other now, so maybe that's my opportunity to swoop in and form an alliance of some sort, maybe? Or instead, I can look at some pretty flowers. Ooh. Actually, those aren't pretty Come at all. Those look hideous. The same way anymore. Those, those are seriously some hideous flowers. Ugh. Blurry 2D pieces of crap. Those are crappy flowers. I don't like them. Just eavesdrop a little bit. <laughs> And why would you ever stop dealing ironwood? Is there no longer a demand for them? I can't imagine that would be the case. <sighs> no need for such wild speculation. I've simply lost interest. I'm moving on to better things, as they say. Was lost Ooh, interest? I don't think so. <laughs> no, no, no. I can see what you're doing. I'm not giving away my secrets. 
Alright, let's see what the other guy's talking about. Actually, wait, what about these people? I heard he was killed. Right here in the garden. Well. Wasn't he Lannister? One of their guards, but still. Surely they found who did it. No, they haven't caught him yet. Not for lack of effort, mind you. I hear they've spared no expense. Okay, seems I'm still good on that so far. Nobody knows it was me. Oh, I can't remember. I, I think it was a bird? Oh, close. A cock. That's it. <laughs> no, that's terrible. You're the one telling the joke, remember? Wait, what? Tell me more about the cock. What about the cock? Oh. It is a lot, but I know how to spend it. Mm. But how do you manage it? Lord Whitehill trusts me above all others. That's why I'm the only one he's willing to work with. Oh, an exclusive deal. How good for you, Andros. Well, I've got my family to consider. When's the last time you even saw your wife, Andros? <laughs> no reply to that? <laughs> I guess it's been a long time since he's seen her. Alright, let's go talk to the other one. I guess... Oh, you know, I am supposed to get a drink, aren't I? For the sake of cover. There we go. Stealthiness achieved. <laughs> oh, please, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Lady Mira, I'm impressed. Impressed with what? That you aren't currently locked in a cell. I trust this means that you took care of that contract. How did you do it, if I may ask? I wasn't expecting to see you again, if I'm being honest. You must have made quick work of it. If I tell you how I did it, what's in it for me? <laughs> Nothing. But I admire the gall. I do believe King's Landing is rubbing off on you. So, what have you been up to? Enjoying yourself? Though I suppose if you're talking to me, you must want something. Don't tell me you just enjoy my company. I noticed you and Andros arguing earlier. I'm sorry you had to see that. I told him it was not the time. What were you arguing about, if you don't mind my asking? Well, a bold question deserves a bold answer, doesn't it? I've been pushed out of the ironwood business. Oh. All thanks to my partner. Bloody imbecile. Andros is now Lud Whitehill's exclusive contact in King's Landing. No matter the fact that I introduced them in the first place. That man would be nothing without me. It appears we have an enemy in common, Lord Morgren. I hadn't thought of it that way. Then perhaps you'll have better luck against Andros and his new partner, Lyman Lannister. He's working with a Lannister? A third cousin, to be fair. Whatever Andros is up to, he clearly thinks Lyman can take my place. <laughs> Rickard! Are you done flirting with that handmaiden? We need your opinion here. <laughs> Leave him alone. Please excuse me. Perhaps I should go have a chat with Lyman. Hmm. Can I eavesdrop again? Or is it just the same thing? And the Lannister, too. Uh, I thought we were done talking about this. You asked me about my friends. The friends, yes. Lyman is your business partner. What's the difference? Uh, fair enough, Andros. And if my friends happen to protect me from the crowd, all the better. <laughs> I think I need more wine. That, that was a deep and insightful conversation there. I learned so much. 
Um, excuse me. Lyman Lannister? Oh my god, he's a complete drunkard. You what start is wrong on me. with him. As if I don't already have enough to deal with. You seem nervous, my lord. I'm not nervous. I just get clumsy sometimes. I'm... I'm afraid you have me at a disadvantage, Lady... Mira. Lady Mira. I'm not used to being approached so boldly. But I'm glad you did. I always feel a bit out of place at big gatherings like this. His hand is shaking. So, what brings you over here? I'm not the best company, I'm afraid. Or were you headed for the wine and I got in your way? You look like you could use some company. What are you doing all by yourself? I don't mind, really. I only came to discuss some business with Lord Andros. <laughs> I'm told it's rude to leave early. Oh? What kind of business? I... I really shouldn't talk about it. Andros came to me in confidence. You understand. He wouldn't be pleased, I'm sure. If you like, you can whisper it in my ear. I... well... I suppose I could just... Lyman! <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Oh. What? Nothing. You stay away from him. Andros! Uh oh We were just talking. You were just talking to Mira Forrester. Forrester? I... I didn't realize. My lord? Let me say this as plainly as I can. Don't ever meddle in my affairs again! Lady Marjorie. Oh god, is she gonna notice me? Is she gonna notice me? I think she'd recognize the back of my head, Lady probably. Marjorie. Quite a scene over there. Are you all right? I'm fine. I can handle Lord Andros. It's Lyman I was worried about. What do you mean? Honestly, that story isn't fit for a maiden's ears. Just be careful around him. All right? How about we trade? There must be something I can tell you. There is something. I'm curious about Sarah. Your help could save me a lot of embarrassment. I'd be very grateful, Lady Mira. What do you want to know about Sarah? Sarah Durwell. Interesting name, that. Oh, Funny oh. Funny thing is, the last mm. Durwells died off almost 200 years ago. What can you tell me about her family? Something isn't quite right, and I'm not sure. You must understand... I can't court a woman just because I like the way she laughs. I need to know her family, her parentage. That is unfortunately the way things are. I really couldn't say, my lord. Spare me the pretense. You know her as well as anybody. Now tell me the truth. Oh, fuck. Please, Lady Mira. Oh, wait, this time I don't seem to have a timer. Um... <laughs> if it gets out that she's a bastard, if he tells anybody... But then again, if I lie and say I can vouch for her family and then he goes to marry her, is is he going to find out then and it's going to be even worse? Would he find out? If he went to marry her? Fuck. I, I don't know. I mean, I don't want to screw over Sarah, obviously, but if I vouch for her family, wouldn't he end up finding out? And then wouldn't it maybe even be worse? If he found out only after... You know, after starting to get married with her, or getting married? Depending on when you'd find out, I don't know when you'd actually find out. Uh... 
I don't exactly trust this guy. I don't particularly distrust him, but this is a huge, huge thing to share with him. I, I certainly don't trust him enough. Fuck. I hope this doesn't screw over Sarah, but I'm gonna lie. I've met the Durwells when I was at Highgarden. Oh? They're a small house these days, but very well regarded. Ah, right. Well, that's a relief. For a moment, I thought... And now, Lord Tarwick, it's your turn. Right. Lyman Lannister. Ten years ago, Lyman was injured at the tourney at Lannisport. He took a bad fall from his horse, needed milk of the poppy for weeks just to keep from screaming. Oh. And between us, he's never stopped drinking the stuff. Can't stop, actually. He spent all his money trying to get more. The man can't go a day without it. So that's why he shakes. You mustn't repeat that, Lady Mira. I shouldn't even know about it. Besides, Lyman suffered enough embarrassment. And every man's entitled to his secrets. He'd be horrified if everyone knew. I won't tell. I promise. Good. I'd hate for Lord Andros to trace this back to me. I'm you learned that to from Andros. The man's mouth is bigger than the black water. <laughs> Poor Lyman has no idea. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some arrangements to make. Lady Mira. My lie about Sarah is going to ruin everything, I feel like. Oh god, what have I done? <laughs> and I feel kind of bad for Lyman now, oh god. I thought, at first I thought he was a drunkard, but then when he started talking, it didn't seem like he was drunk, but he was really skittish. And always with a drink in his hand. But yeah, that makes more sense, he's a drug addict. If I want to make any headway here, I'm gonna have to probably blackmail him? Fuck. Lord Lyman, we really need to talk. I know what you're up to. I won't discuss my business with Andros, so please, please, just leave me alone. You've landed me in enough trouble. Just, just leave. I'm gonna have to. Look at you. You're shaking. It's an old injury. But there's more to it than that, isn't there? What are you saying? Either tell me what you want, or go bother someone else. I don't have to stand here and take this. Lord Andros has betrayed you. I know everything. What? What do you... The milk of the poppy. You drink it like wine. Ever since your injury at Lannisport. You wouldn't... Andros wouldn't... He's not your friend. He's been using you. I trusted him. He spilled your secrets. So why not spill his? Andros is hiring sellswords. Hundreds of them. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. But Andros is doing it in secret. No one knows. Or at least, he doesn't want anyone to know. I told him I'd keep quiet, but... Well... Now you know, too. Lord Whitehill won't be slaughtering anybody. With an army that size, he'll slaughter whoever he wants. But this is... You bloody traitor. You promised me! Then you told everyone? What are you talking about? You're a liar. I should never have trusted you. She told me everything. Oh, fuck. Um... Lady Mira, you've just made a very grave error. Very grave indeed. 
You realize that, I hope. Don't tell me you're afraid of a handmaiden. <laughs> that seemed to go well, but I think things are going to go really, really, really poorly in the near, near future for Mira. And, and probably Sarah. You sure you know where you're going? Potter? Let's see that map again. So you're asking now, are you? Surprised you haven't taken it from my pocket already. How much food we got left? Here we are. Carried. How's the food? But this won't last much longer. If Finn wasn't eating all of it. It's not me. I will have to stop soon. Look for some food. We're on the right track. This way. I'll try and talk to her. I'm one of them. Wait, what? He's a fucking wildling, Cotter! They might kick me around a little, but whatever you do, don't come out, all right? She has to think I'm alone. If she sees you, you'll only make things worse. You don't think? No, I'm, uh, I'm a friend. I grew up near Ardhorn. You know it? I won't hurt you. All right. You won't. I'm one of you. I'm... Oh! oh. You sure look like a crow oh, to I'm me. Not. You're dressed like one. You out here all alone, little pup. Come out or I'll kill your friend! Or I'll make him scream first. Listen! I don't you want said to fight. stay hidden. Then you shouldn't have come you said here. Stay you hidden. should have stayed behind your wall where you belong. He knows the wise I'm going to stay hidden. Kill him. He'll be all right, won't he? Ah! 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 That Stop. didn't look pleasant. Please, you don't like ah. it. You best hope your little crow brothers come looking for you soon. Oh, <gasps> oh shit! Oh. How's that feel? Oh. I think you can do better than that. Oh, fuck. There's no way we can take him. There's no way. This is gonna be awfully hard to explain. Carrot! Kill them! Are we actually going to fight? Okay. Uh. 
This did not exactly go to plan. Our food! Hey! Garrett! Garrett, no! She's not fighting yet! It's over! Those the last of our supplies. Oh. We can't stay here. You're hurt. Come on. We can rest up ahead. Oh, now we're even in an even worse position than we were before. Jesus. Alright, hold on one second, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I thought I'd feel better, seeing Griff dragged out of the Great Hall like that. You wanted to kill him, didn't you? How did you know when to stop? I don't think I could have. I suppose that's why you're the Lord. And I'm... I don't know what I would have done. It's hard to know what's right. You never really know for sure. What do you think Lord Whitehill will do when he hears? He won't know of this. Not until we want him to. The gates are barred and every raven in the rookery is dead. My lord, there's been a message from High Point. Lord Whitehill invites you to discuss a truce. He wants to make peace. As if we're that naive. Maybe this is an opportunity. A way to get behind their walls. And do what? You'd be putting yourself in danger, Roderick. She's right. What do you hope to accomplish? We could get Ryan back. This could be our chance. You're right. Now that we have Griff, we can propose a trade. A trade? His son for my brother. Then we have a plan. We'll leave first thing tomorrow morning. If you're going ahead with this, at least bring the Glenmore soldiers. We obviously need them here. You can't mean for Roderick to travel unprotected. What if the White Hills attack Ironrath while he's gone? My lord, you cannot go into an enemy stronghold unprotected. Nor can you leave Ironrath vulnerable. We have small folk soldiers. They're barely trained, Royland. Ironrath is ours again. The Glenmores will ensure it stays that way. Let Arthur know at once. Yes, my lord. I'll start making the preparations. Well, I'll need an advisor with me at High Point. By rights, it should be your sentinel. But for something this delicate, perhaps you'd best take Duncan. You're going to an enemy stronghold. Surely you want your master at arms. It's Roderick who must decide. <laughs> oh my god, it keeps turning into these like binary, uh, you know, like might or, or talk it over sort of decisions. <sighs> well, I'm already not taking the soldiers with me, Duncan so let's keep going. with us. Royland can stay here and defend Ironrath. Very well. Roderick, I know I can't come to High Point, but I can't just sit around and do nothing. I want to help. Please, I'll do anything you ask of me, even something dangerous. I don't care. Thalia, you'll be the only forester at Ironrath while we're gone. I need you to rule in my stead. I'll... I'll do my best. I have faith in you, Talia. Ethan rose to this task, and so will you. I've known Lud Whitehill a long time. He's selfish, greedy, and arrogant. But he'd never kill a guest in his own home. At least, I don't think he would. I hope you're right, Mom.
Welcome. Don't worry about me. Focus on the mission. Your family needs you. That's what matters right now. <laughs> You're my family too, Malcolm. And I couldn't be prouder of you. Good luck, my boy. So we begin. Listen up! There are four of these guard posts throughout the city. They'll use them to warn the masters in case the slaves decide they're tired of wearing chains. We're here to make sure they don't see it coming. Therund, you take the north. Penn, the south. Asher, we'll take the east. And Kirin will cover the west. Make the enemy blind. Give the Unsullied a chance to get in and arm the slaves. The rest is up to them. Don't get cocky out there. One mistake, and the man remember when we stole that giant war hammer? Get in, do what you have to do, and get your people Didn't she hit you in the face with it? That's all you I need never to thought my about. head could feel any You got that. Tonight, any man who wishes to be free may take that freedom from the grip of his master. You will clear a path for them, but they must walk it alone. Justice belongs to the people of Marine. Do not make them wait any longer. <sighs> what does she know of justice? Is there a problem? If you can't do this, tell me now. The Masters will be judged by the people of Marine, not by you. Is that understood? No problem here. As long as we get the reward you promised. You will have it. You will both do as Croft commands. Follow his orders exactly, or you will get nothing. Now go. Show them the hell they have made here. I hoped I'd never see this place again. Tried to run once. Didn't make it very far. Which way? There's a path around there. Avoids the main street. Let's just get this over with. Alright, is this a good time? They're not looking. Um, hmm. I feel like they would have seen us. What's the matter, Croft? You see how many guards are out there? How were you expecting to get past them? We'll be caught. You ask me which way. This is it. Then we'll stay out of sight. Follow me. see anyone.
been used recently. Are those guards beating somebody up? What the fuck? What are they doing? That's a slave they're beating up. Pesca. We have to go. There's something I have to do. Vesca, what are you doing? Do you trust me, Asha? We don't have time for this! Just tell me! Do you trust me? Of course I trust you. Good. This won't take long. Vesca! Where are you going? Follow her! I think she's about to get some revenge. compared to what you deserve after what you did to me to those other children I should tie you up let the fucking dogs rip you apart That's it. I'm just gonna let her do what Nobody she wants nobody can blame you for wanting him dead do what you must I will have you lost your mind I'm ordering you to back away <sighs> My best guy. I am not. Your Get him go. What are you doing? I shoot. You will do as I say. Both of you, take her weapon. I need to do this, Asha. After everything he's done. And he'll pay for it. Once the city is free, he will be punished. Punished by a queen who has no right to. His life means nothing to her. She does not speak for the children who died in those pits. Asha, stop her! I will get their justice. I won't let you ruin this for me. You heard what Daenerys said. Your queen will understand. She won't. Then who the fuck cares? I'm putting a stop to this right now. There. How could... That wasn't your blood to take. Do you have any idea what you've done? The mother of dragons will have your head for that. Not before we finish the job. Now let's go. 